All right, so now we are en route to Skid Race Southwest, and everybody, very important announcement here. I have the keys to happiness. I have with me today the keys to a Fiat 500. Now, you'll have to excuse my steering wheel cover because this is not my car, it's actually a Turo rental. But, you know the drill, it's time for a cold start with this very, very fine four-cylinder engine. And now, we are all ready to go. It's all warmed up, well, not really actually, we're gonna wait a little bit. But now, we are good to go. Actually, before we get started, the cool little Fiat 500 has this cool sliding uh, moonroof cover. And you know me, I like dangling out of moonroofs. So the Fiat is all parked up and we've arrived at Skidder Ridge Southwest and just pulling in. There's so many cars coming in and I'm hyped once more. I get way too excited about the cars, but it's not a bad thing. Just gonna give you a perspective on the size of this event. They've taken over a whole entire shopping mall. But you know me, at any sort of cars call event, I always like going out and seeing the cars pulling in and leaving. So there's so many just coming in. I'm like freaking out right now, again, once more. So it's gonna be a great day. We have Ferrari squad pulling in, featuring one boxer. But this is the prime spot for Cars and Coffee because we have a Chick-fil-A right there. And I love Chick-fil-A. And we have the police ready to shut down the meat. <laughs> we have a Ford and GT and Heritage colors with an SV right, right behind it. So I'm typically full of dumb ideas. So with that being said, I had an idea to get on the center island to record cars coming in and some leaving. That way I'm in the, the prime spot to uh, get all the best footage I can. If it is illegal, I mean, I don't really know. We'll find out. So that little island right there is where I'm trying to get to. But as you can see, there's a steady flow of traffic coming through. So it'll be a little risky. So we have a clear running spot. <laughs> I'm jaywalking. If, we'll see how long I can make out here before someone tells me anything. I've been meaning to be back on that side, but we've had a steady inflow of cars, so I think I'm trapped on this island for the rest of the day. I have my brake. There we go. I am back on this side where I should belong, and now I'll go inside and kind of show you what's arrived. Now, any of you are wondering, this is actually the world's first Huracan Permonte supercharged. We're we'll going to show you the back, it's really cool. And this also has 860 horsepower and actually overrides uh, launch control. So it's a beast. So it's a little more quiet over here. Everyone seems to be crowded more on the um, exotics and Italian and European cars. Rightfully so, but. I do have a big appreciation for American muscle. That's what we'll be going over right now. A lot of Corvettes are here. So let's see what we can find. 
and the dog vlog returns once more. Dog vlog part two of the video. Dog vlog part three. Dog vlog part four. As you can see, we have dog vlog part five. Good comparison of the Hellcat versus the Demon. Anybody's interested in that? Dog vlog part six. Dog vlog part seven. So now it's part two of me trying to not get hit by cars across the street or get to the island. So this happens to me a little too often. And the adventure I stay up down there. All right, time to jaywalk. I'm pretty good. Haven't been hit yet. Everyone's all saying it's the walls, but me, I jaywalk into the island. Jaywalking vlog part two begins. Yeah, I'm running. You know, you can't run too much for cars, but I need to burn off my Chick-fil-A. And technically, I am from Florida, so I'm not familiar with the Arizona state laws. That's my excuse. Now, I might die here, because we have a Mustang taking off right there. Well, my finger's really big in the zoom. And that's how you get kicked off. So the event's just about over, but before I go, hop in the Fiat, and the only way to leave um, cars and coffee, well technically, um, Scuderia Southwest, for almost by the name there, you have to send it, no matter what car you're in. Now it's probably a bad idea, but it's gonna be fun. Now there's only one way 